Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mom was saying us to a flying leap into the psychology of self and the parts of us that think that we should always be doing better. Non-flower elements is a journey to answer why, even when we have the world at our fingertips, do we feel so inadequate? And here to tell us more about the show's, are the show's creators, rather, informers, please welcome to the cafe, Ella Gibson and Ash Jones. Yes! Hey. Hi guys. Hey, welcome, welcome. The show sounds fascinating. Yeah. Um, Ella, we'll get you first to explain to us. I hope you've been thinking about this. Explain oh, yeah. to us, what is the show about? Yeah, so I guess the show is... Um, like me and Ash kind of like um, as people have gone through life kind of feeling and we think it's like a universal thing that people feel like they should be doing better or they're not happy in yeah. the place that they are right now and we don't think that that is necessarily true I think people people were fine where they are and so we kind of wanted to make a show that kind of like explored this relationship we have in the modern world with self and how we're always wanting to be more and so yeah the show kind of is like us playing around with the audience, like challenging that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. No, that yeah. sounds good because it's, it's an important issue. And I think you're right. We do yeah. always right. have that inadequacy. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Compare ourselves to mm. others and everything. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, like, I think, you know, social media has a big part to play where we're constantly seeing the best sides of everyone, or the, like, nice the, the side that they want to <laughs> present, but it's not necessarily the whole picture for yep. everyone. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I guess a part of it is dealing with mental health issues. Hmm. So, so how on earth did you come up with it? Was it, Ash, based on the fact that you guys were going through the same sorts of issues? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, we, we've always worked, uh, when we make stuff, we want to kind of strip back ourselves and show a sort of truth. Like, that's what I'm most interested in with art. And I guess we went, well, this is a real big thing that we deal with a lot, and Let's tackle that. Right. Yeah. So we, what, were you sitting around? What, did you guys flat together, live together? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, so we were sitting yeah. around one night and just yeah, thought this yeah. could be a funny play? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. often we're like driving together somewhere or, or whatever and we just like chat about crack up things that could happen in the theatre. Yeah. And know. then you put them all together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it was interesting because like where it started from the show was we were like, oh, um, how we got to be who we are is because of our parents and the circumstances have got us there. But then as we kept exploring that, we found the show, the show kind of changed and became about, yeah. Mm. And, and real topical too at the moment, because there's a lot of chat about mental health issues. So here mm. you are sort of combining it in a fun way, yeah. but also shining a light on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And, and it was really important to us that the show was fun, because I think, the, I just don't think it's necessarily like the best way to go at it when talking about kind of like, like inadequacy or something to be yeah. like, we're inadequate and that <laughs> sucks. <laughs> but that is the way we deal with things. Yeah. Isn't it? As a yeah. human race, we, yeah. we laugh at things, especially when things are really dire. We can actually make yeah. really bad jokes about things because that's how we get yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you can go deeper if you have a sort of lighter mm. look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So dance, clowning, mm. games mm. as well, apparently. Yeah. Yes. It yeah. sounds quite intriguing. Yeah. 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 And a live band. Yeah. Yes. yes, there is a live yeah. band. We've got like a, a three piece band that is. Awesome. So where did you find the uh, live band well, there, guys? Also all of our flat right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, our stage manager's our flat mate, <laughs> our, our lighting designer's our flat mate. We have a big flat, yeah. The flat meetings must be incredible. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty good. Yes, yeah. and they uh, flatly probably helped put together this little clip, so if you want to know more about the show, let's have a quick look at this. I'm trying to be sexy, but people tell me I... I come off as weird. They don't know what I'm doing. When people hear my name, what do they think? Do I have to lie? Am I interesting enough? What have I become? Yeah. 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 That is quite sexy. That was actually filmed at your flat as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what about the audience? Do they have a role to play in this whole show? Yeah, so the, the characters that you just saw in the trailer, they're kind of like uh, casting directors because an element of the show is like the, the audience gets 
cast like in the show and so like those characters steer everyone through it so they're the people you play games with and stuff okay but not in a terrifying way because sometimes we hear audience participation and we go yeah, yeah. no yeah, no it, like everyone's doing it together no one's singled out so it's like you're safe yeah. <laughs> you're, right. you're safe in a group right. <laughs> and Nash, what do you want people to take away from this when they come they'll have a good time no doubt but what do you want them to take away from this experience um, i want them to uh, just feel like a they're not alone and b they're enough Okay, good. Wow, that's nice. really succinct. I like that. It sounds fascinating. I love the sexy characters too. Thank you. Um, There's apparently a bit of nudity in it too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I'll go just for that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. It's been an absolute know, pleasure. Monflower Elements is playing now through to Saturday at the Basement Theatre. For tickets, you can head to their website or call iTicket. Yes, thank you very much, guys.